All right, part nine of Accepta. Turnabout Apprentice. Welcome back. This situation. There's something obviously wrong with this testimony I remember, but that's all I remember. Do you always go picking into windows with the outside? Uh, no, of course not. It's just that, uh, I do work there, after all. Uh, Scotland Yard, I mean. And... As I was passing by, caught a bunch of someone I didn't recognize. I just got curious and decided to have a look. That's all. That's all right, witness. You have done nothing wrong. It, it hasn't. What's he getting so nervous for? If Kingsley's doing this to Mr. Power's office, I feel like... I suppose he could have seen it there. What was he doing? Well, he was, uh, standing. Standing. Is that all? Yes, well, he had his second gun. Murder yet, after all. What's important is that the defendant was alone. He was alone, was he not, witness? Yes. There was no one there but him and Mr. Power. Speaking of Mr. Power, why don't you tell us about when he arrived? Right away, Mr. Donovan! Before I could walk away, Mr. Power appeared and went into his office. There's a couple of things I want to know about this. I should ask George about. You're doing so? Could you describe the victim in any detail? Well, I can't really say much about his appearance since his back was turned to me. And, well, the window was kept small, so I couldn't make out any details anyway. I see. The thing I will say is that he seemed to be in a much more irritable mood than usual. Which is, uh, saying something, considering it's, uh, well, him. How so? She was passing by the defendant, he quite literally shoved him to the side. He went into his office without so much as an apology. It was quite rude. Maybe that's why the defendant killed him. Uh, who would kill someone over something like that? You never know. <laughs> I'm going to stay as far away from this guy as possible. <laughs> oh boy. That's about the office door. Point Donovan, the office door must have already been unlocked by then. Furthermore, Mr. Power should not have the key. In other words, with this next question, I could topple this case over just like that. Witness! Did you see the victim unlock the door? No! Ma what? <laughs> Sorry, I looked away for a second, so I don't know. Good luck next time, Send. Ah, I should have known Donovan would have thought of that, eh? Which the one mocking him just a short while ago? Well, Shed. Did you really see this happen? Well, uh, maybe I looked away a couple of times, but, uh... Yeah, it probably happened. Uh, probably. What kind of testimony is that? Well, he was the only one in the hallway, and I even saw him go up to the door, so he must have, right? This guy's testimony is shaking to the house of cards. And yet, they're going to have to blow it down. Move on, witness. What happened next? Clear that blue man was me, right? Yep, unmistakably. Couldn't have been. I don't know. An imposter. Oh, you had the same blonde, spiky hair, and I even caught a glimpse of your glasses. She didn't completely register my face. Uh. Objection. Where are you going with these questions, Sent? Cease this at once. I'm. <laughs> What? Nobody's interested in my imposter storm culprit theory. It just mirrored this kid kinda... Suspicious? Yeah. He gets pretty nervous when you ask about certain things. Like, what if he blames Richard for the murder, really? You're right. I can only think of one reason for that. It's a bit early to suspect him, but... There's clearly something wrong with his testimony. 
Oh yeah, we need to present the security footage here. Objection. To Sherman, it's not very becoming of an officer of the law to lie to this court. So Sherman checked in before Kingsley arrived. So where the fuck was he watching from? Huh? It was clever of you to, it was clever of you to tell us that you witnessed this incident from outside through the window. Sadly, the evidence tells a very different story. What's that defense? This is footage taken by the security camera at the entrance to Scotland Yard. If you look at the footage taken at 8.54am, this can be seen entering the building. Moreover, he's not seen leaving the building until after the body is found. Wah! Mr. Sherman, you were really outside the building when you saw power in my client. Well, I... Uh... What? Witness! You can't just lie to us so casually! It's quite alright, my lord. Mr. Sherman, why don't you tell us the truth now? Uh, Mr. Donovan? There's no need to be afraid. If the sent tries to accuse you, I shall deal with him accordingly. But please, tell us where you really were. I require accurate testimony from you. Okay. Very well, witness your lies, but excused. That's the truth this time. What happened? Wow, where did that voice come from? <laughs> ding, ding, round two. Uh, sorry, everyone. I was actually inside the station at the time. Typically, I was at the bottom of the stairs. I saw Mr. Kingsley from around the corner. I thought I'd go say hello, but then Mr. Power showed up. After that, I, uh, hung around by the stairs for a bit. Also alive, we saw him in the, uh, office's hallway. Mr. Sherman? Yes? What exactly were you doing, hanging around on the stairs? I, I don't know, I was just, uh... Well, I, uh, got nervous, so I kind of just, well, waited there, y you know? Waiting? For what? Well, that's the thing, you see. It's nothing rational, just, just old nervous habits kicking in. A likely story if I ever heard one. See why he lied about his location, even if, this, even if this is true. Is it really the truth, though? Ah, that's my boy. Suspect everything, no matter who says it. So he was on the stairs, eh? Let's make a note of that, shall we? Interesting. Now that we know where he was inside the station, maybe we can get more information out of him. It's worth a shot. Oh shit. Yeah, there it is. There's that clean cut in. I wanted to get that at least once. That's clean as hell. Boom. Aha, uh -huh. so Richard wasn't the only one in the hallway after all. You were there too. That may be so, but I'm not the killer. Indeed, if my witness here were the murderer, your innocent client would have seen him enter the office. But his presence in the hallway does not incriminate him. Well, he had to have hidden this, this for some reason. Where exactly were you anyway, witness? Specifically, it was at the bottom of the stairs, you know. Where exactly are these, st are these stairs? You have a guide map to the station, right? There to the right of the office. There are to the other stairs up to the first floor. None that I know of. Scotland Yard's small as hell. Anyway, I looked around the corner. That's when I saw your friend. I 
to hear more about this. Uh, this? What exactly do you want to know? What's more about... Ooh, okay. Power, Richard, or anyone else? Let's start with power. I think you'd tell us about the victim. Well, he was wearing that thick coat of his, and, uh... He wasn't, say... Carrying this briefcase with him? Uh... Yes, actually. He was carrying something like that. Didn't Richie confirm that for us? Uh, he did, but it's nice to have someone else confirm it for us. I don't know how I feel about you leaving my witness like that, but I'll let it slide this time. Hello, the defense requests this be added to the testimony. Very well. Witness, if you will. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Was he carrying it the entire time? Well, yes, I would think so. Interesting. If he really was carrying this briefcase would have been to the office. How exactly would that have looked? Any final remarks, witness? <laughs> uh, please don't. We've already been over this. There has to be more to this story. After the way he was just there the whole time. He's been on the stand for even ten minutes, and he's already suspicious. Well, that's good, ain't it? Now that we've got him under pressure, he'll probably spill us some more info, too. Right. He's got to ask the right questions. Ah. Back to here. Richard. What more can you, tell what more can you say about Richard? For example, did you see him go to the office yourself? Uh, admittedly, I did not see him go into the office himself, but I did see him go up to the door. Oh, also, I looked away for a minute, but when I looked again, he was gone. Hmm, I could have just stepped away for a minute. Like into the reception, maybe? Maybe, but... I don't know. Oh, this really isn't good. Can I make a note of this testimony? Sure, why not? Okay, let's have this add to the testimony. Very well. Witness, if you will. Okay. How long exactly did you look away? A couple of minutes, like I said. Could have caused you to look away for so long. Well, I uh, got distracted by something outside, that's all. Or then, couldn't someone have come into the hallway during that period? Anyone did. Your client would have mentioned them by now. And he hasn't, has he? You're assuming correctly. And does this crime work? Anyone else? Would it have been possible for someone else to have gotten into the hallway while you weren't looking? Well, maybe I can't be certain. I definitely didn't see anyone else for myself. Aside from you in power, that is. But again, the defendant himself didn't mention seeing anyone, right? Using Richard's word against us, huh? That's hardly fair. Still. Okay, at it. Oh lord, the defense requests this be added to the testimony. Very well. Wait as if you will. Okay. Be sure that a third person didn't sneak in unnoticed by you. Knowing the fact that you have no proof of it. Knowing the fact that you have no proof of such a person existing, your client would have mentioned seeing such a person, like I just said a minute ago. Yeah. How oh, do I get around Richard's testimony here? Please forgive the defense for this constant repetitive question, witness. He's not usually like this. It's alright. <laughs> anyway. The fact that his left hand has been broken. I think that's where we need to go.
I feel like we need to present the autopsy report here. Objection! He had one broken hand. Strike two, Mr. Sherman. What'd I do now? He threw open the door to his office, almost carrying a briefcase. It sounds easy at first, however. According to the autopsy report, Mr. Power's hand was broken at the time. So it was, but what's your point? Think about it, Mr. Donovan. If you were carrying a briefcase and had to open a door, how would you do it? Why, well, I would simply turn the handle with my free hand. Exactly. As I said, Mr. Power's hand was broken. I could not have simply opened the door like you or I would. Objection. Well, why don't you ask yourself, Mr. Send? How could Mr. Power have opened the door? How could he open the door? The answer is plainly obvious. Does one-handed man open a door while carrying something? He just puts what he's holding down, freeing his hand. That opens the door. Objection! Twitter said he was carrying it the whole time. Result of your constant leading questions, yes. Witness. Now what, I, now what have I done? Descent has been tricking you into saying things convenient for him. You didn't actually see him carry the briefcase the whole time, did you? Uh, uh, hey, what were we just saying about leading questions? I'll give you one more chance to upend your testimony, witness. That's what you saw, and only what you saw. Uh, okay, Mr. Donovan. Here we go. What I really saw. Oh boy! Allegro! As I said, I was standing on the stairs, and then... I saw Mr. Power come in, and he was carrying something. He went to his office door and, well, didn't actually see him go in. So if his other hand was broken, then whatever he was carrying, he must have put it down to get in. I was watching that hallway the entire time, I'll admit. It was only ten minutes before Mr. Sense showed up. Couldn't have missed much. Okay. I trust this time you are speaking entirely from your own viewpoint. Yes, I swear it. Good. As you can see, Mr. Power could very well have entered the office as I suggested. Yet George doesn't look entirely convinced. Funny how vague he's become. It could be our chance to finally end this trial. For some reason, I don't like where this case is headed. Hmm. To confirm, you're still talking about the stairs to the right of the office, right? Right. Right to the right of the office. All right, and what happened? Then... There's something. It wasn't that briefcase. <laughs> Look, I don't actually know for sure what it was. It would have been the briefcase, but you can't lead me into confirming it for you this time. Now leave me alone, you jerk! Well done, witness. Please continue to stand your ground like this in the future. Uh, okay, Mr. Donovan. Won't let you down, sir. I, uh, what the heck happened just now? <laughs> he was gone the next minute anyway, right? Yeah. So, I mean, he probably went into his office. You know what I mean? I don't see why he would wish to doubt that. With without Richard's, Richard's word. You have a point. Still, when you think about it, it is odd. Why was George looking away so much? Continue. It's awfully intimidating when you're still when you're the one who says that, Mr. Sent. Did you actually see him put it down, though? Well, no. It's still possible he did, right? For the same reasoning, it's possible that. Well. He opened the door with his broken hand. Is that what you wanted to say? Tch! 
Still, you'd think the witness would have seen him do it. How did you? S how didn't you see him put the thing down anyway? Well, I couldn't even see what he was carrying in the first place. It's covered by his body, after all. Covered by his body. Yeah. It's the hand in which. It's the hand he was holding it with. It was obscured by his body in this thick coat. Huh. Did you add that to your testimony? Oh. But why? I second that why. It doesn't seem to contradict the evidence. Does it contradict any one piece of evidence? Sure. No! When I combine two pieces of evidence together, a contradiction emerges just like that. Wow. I never would have thought of that. You're incredible, Stormy. Why, you could be my mentor someday. Alright, let's do this. Activate the Super Present. I'll do a select it in the press menu. No! Alright. Well, here's our answer. The object in question was out of your sight. Do you think you would have noticed if you would put, if you put it on the floor before opening the door? Uh, yeah. It was completely out of my vision, after all. I just didn't happen to see him do it. I'm asking the wrong questions here. Let's think about this statement for exactly what it is. This is where I see a contradiction between it and two pieces of evidence. So I can't be certain that nobody came through that hallway. Maybe not, but... Maybe so, but that's ten minutes in which someone could have sneaked past Richard into the office. Objection. How many times do we have to repeat it for you, Mr. Sent? There's no evidence that such a person exists. Objection. Due to that declining credibility of the witness, you're running out of proof that Richard did it. Ah, ah, you got him there. Go on, Storm. The witness's credibility can't hold up much longer. Let's discredit him completely and get Richard out of there. Didn't the trial end as simple as that? Mm, just focus. You know I can get something important out of this guy. There we go. All dots report. Decide what our other piece of evidence is. Gotta be the station guide map. Objection. It is not the station guide map. My lord, this piece of evidence is in direct contradiction to the witness's testimony. Clearly, the witness is... Um... I'm afraid I don't quite see your line of reasoning, Mr. Sent. Please, do try to have some foundation for your logic. Yeah. It's not quite as planned. Just take a look at this. Well, that sucked. Wait, this is the thing. I did the wrong statement. Objection. There we go. Right evidence, wrong statement. Say it one more time, Mr. Sherman. Tell us you were watching this scene unfold from the stairway. Uh, yes? I was watching from the stairs. Same stairs on the map you keep pulling out. Is something wrong with that? Yes. Yes, there is. If you were to the right of the office, and the briefcase was covered by the victim's own body, that would mean the briefcase was held in his left hand, wouldn't it? What? 
But, that can't be so. His left hand was broken. <laughs> ah! Objection. What is your point, defense? Are you saying the witness was lying about something like this? I am, Mr. Donovan. I think the witness has told us just is just not true. Very well. I'll follow along with your logic. What is the witness lying about? It's going to be his own location. Our other choices are which hand power used and the briefcase's existence. Remember exactly what George said. It's say the victim was carrying the briefcase in his left hand. Ah, I see. Any of his words can be changed if he move Mr. Sherman somewhere else. It's ridiculous! Where else would I be? Why do you all care so much about this? Mr. Donovan is correct. You weren't actually standing by the stairs, George. That's where you were actually standing. Somewhere back in the office area. Obviously, you were actually somewhere to the left of the victim. That's right. That's where you were. You would place the case in the victim's right hand. Fixing the contradiction. Stop! Don't you realize what you're saying? There's something wrong with our reasoning. Of course there is! Why would I have even lied about something like this? Uh... Why does it even matter where I was standing? I mean, it would be easy to say I was by the stairs instead of wherever that is. Is that really the truth, witness? Mr. Donovan? Uh-oh. You sound awfully sure that no explanation for this exists. So why don't we hear Mr. Sendout? He should come up with a thing, should he? Uh, sure. I can explain it. Can you do it, Storm? Doesn't seem like time worth spending to me, personally. May not, but... I can come up with a reason. There aren't that many options here. It's got to be that. This is why Mr. Sherman lied about where he was standing. Stolen painting? This morning, at about the same time, the chief of police was found dead in his office. The crime had taken place within the walls of Scotland Yard. Yes. I noticed that myself when I did a quick search of the building. With a crime? What on earth happened? When Richard first arrived at the Scotland Yard yesterday, this painting was hanging on one of the walls. However, when Mr. Lawrence and I checked that wall later, the painting was gone. And where exactly was this painting hanging? Do I even need to say it, my lord? It's exactly where Mr. Sherman was standing. Uh, well, witness. Somehow, between 9 and 10 a.m., a painting disappeared from that hallway. The very same hallway you lied about not being in. What do you have to say to that? I... I... Mr. Scent, you saying that this boy was the one who stole the painting? I can't think of any other reason why he would be lying about where he was standing. Mr. Sherman, you're the one who stole that painting. Stop it! Just stop it, please! I swear I didn't mean to do anything wrong. Just stop! And tell us the truth, Mr. Sherman. What were you really doing in that hallway? Is it really you who stole that painting? Yes! I... I mean, no. I... Uh, just let me talk. Yes, I was the one who hid the painting. I didn't steal it. Objection! And just how does that work? Works because I painted it. The painting is mine. It's what? I painted it as a present for Detective Easton. E Eaten. Since I've been practicing art for a while. I gave it to her as soon as I finished, but it just wasn't perfect. No, I'm an idiot. Even it was a very great mistake. Right there in the brush strokes. What is he talking about? I couldn't bring myself to ask her if I could fix it. I'd look silly. Then, just a few days ago, Detective Eaton went on vacation. It was my chance. I could take it, fix it, and put it back the next day without her noticing. It wasn't easy, though. The gods had placed me before an enemy who would constantly stand in my way. 
time I tried to go get that painting, there was that kid loitering around. Sounds like Richie, all right. Eventually, he went, to the, went into the reception area. Thinking he was finally gone, I took my chance. I quickly ran down the hall to go grab the painting and leave. Sadly, I'm a clumsy man. But when I touch the frame... The frame fell and shattered. You... You dropped it. It wasn't that expensive. You know I could replace it easily. I decided to go out, place it, put it back so no one would know what happened. Ah, uh, it was again. Enemy, Richard Kingsley. As if that was bad enough, at the moment, along came Mr. Power. I let him see me with the painting. I'd be so embarrassed. Oh, I went and hid the painting in the storage. I figured no one would find it. I came out, Mr. Scent had shown up, went into the office. I took that as my chance, it ran. Where did you go? First I wanted to run outside, but I couldn't just leave the painting there. So I ran upstairs. The waiting area. I was lucky I didn't run into anyone. I planned to go back for the painting, but then the police came. Witnesses to a murder. And then led to another end. Here I am. And the painting's still in the storage room. Sorry about all that. You have certainly caused us some grief. I can see you are not a bad person at heart. But what of your testimony? Do you stand by your accusation of Richard Kingsley? First, I was sure he must have done it. It seemed ridiculous for there to be any alternative culprit. But I truly do not know. I see. I'm really sorry for all the trouble I've caused. Alright, now what? Well, that's all said and done. I must say, I am no longer convinced by the prosecution's case. Eh? We did it, Storm. We saved Richard. We did. We really did. Now the prosecution does not seem to have further evidence to present. And with the witness's credibility no longer holding up, the verdict seems obvious. I shall now turn the verdict over to the jury. Which, based on what I've seen, I direct to... Ooh! Ah. Oh. My lord, please hold up on that verdict for a moment longer. Objection! What are you doing? Your case no longer holds water. Don't tell me you have another witness to present. Mr. Sherman, you said some very interesting things just now. I might have repeated what you said. It's a testimony. What? What exactly do you mean? Confession, of course. What else? What? Uh, how could that help? How could you possibly get out of this witness? Oh boy. More than you could ever believe. This man has wasted the court's time, my lord. Our client's been proven innocent. There's no need to adhere to his desperate ploy. Mr. Lawrence, maybe we should hear him out. No, we do not. His testimony request is a farce. Not at all what I expect from Donovan. You know what I'm saying. Object! Oh boy, what do I do? I side with Donovan or just take the verdict? Your verdict, eh? <laughs> hear Donovan out or go home. Clearly we need to go home. Sorry, Donovan. My mentor was right. This trial is over. Mr. Sent, is this really how you want things to end? I must say that it's very disappointing. It's exactly looking to impress you, you know. I'm afraid I agree with the defense, Mr. Donovan. This trial has gone on long enough. If you had more evidence against his defendant, you should have presented it earlier. Now then, the jury has gotten back to me on the verdict. Inspector, the squad finds the defendant, Richard Kingsley. Well, that's how it ended.
She was acquitted, and life returned to normal at the Send Law Firm. She stuck by my side, and we continued taking whatever case came our way. Lawrence decided there was no more he could teach me. In fact, he declared me his superior. Donovan kept facing me in court, but we don't speak much outside of business anymore. Sadly, though, the chief's murder was never solved. Probably never will be. His death resulted in chaos at the yard. Crime rate spiked back up. I've handled it. Thing I haven't been through before. So we all lived happily ever after. Not exactly a case that should be haunting me to this day. That, of course you fucking closed. God damn it. All right, well, we gotta open this shit back up. Do this again. Take it to the truth. There is definitely a lot of evidence still to play here. If this case is really haunting Storm to this day, then something big is going to come out of this. Wait. Here I'm at. Donovan's trying to tell me something. This case hasn't been solved yet, so can I really let it end already? I still don't know how the victim died or who killed him. In that case... I agree with Mr. Donovan. Mr. Sherman's confession still needs to be cross-examined like any other testimony. Objection! Whoa oh, there, what are you doing, my boy? There's no need for this. The case against Richie has crumbled. There's no need to question that guy any further. Sorry, Mr. Lawrence, but I can't turn my back on this case yet. Well now, if even the defense agrees, I suppose there's little I can do. Mr. Sherman, please testify about your true actions this morning. Run away! Look at the security stuff. I feel like our mentor might have done this. Oh, okay. No, this must have wanted really badly, you see. I wanted to fix it in secret. But, oh, I'm a stupid man. When I touched the frame, it fell and broke. The frame of the closet. I waited for Mr. Kingsley to leave. When he and Mr. Sent went into the office, I ran out across the hall and up the stairs. It was lucky I didn't run into anyone. That would have been awkward. That sounds about the same as what you said earlier. Tell me, though, where exactly is this closet of yours? It's right there. Next to the victim's office. Oh, I remember that room. And that funny-looking door. Very well. Mr. Scent, please don't waste too much of our time with this. I won't. It's sad, I've got a very bad feeling about this. What was the painting of, exactly? I was of Justine Eden herself. She thought it was good, so she hung it up right outside of her office. Of course, that's when I noticed my mistake. Ah, yes. <laughs> that's what it was about. Yes, uh, indeed. Oh, shit. What was your mistake? You should recreate it from memory. It looks nice enough for me. Uh, uh, I made a forgery of my painting. Oh, uh... You didn't fix the mistake! What the heck? <laughs> oh, such a waste of talent. Why do you even bother? Hey, it can't be that bad. You need to stop looking at your work so critically. Uh, really? Straight never get back to the testimony, Mr. Sherman. Uh, sorry. But, oh, I'm a stupid man. Oh. Just... Off the wall, the moment your finger made contact with it. Might as well have. I placed both my hands on the sides and tried to carefully remove it from the wall. 
but no, it completely slipped from my hands and hit the floor. That sounds terrible. How badly it's broken. I just had its glass cracked, but what does it matter? It's broken, it might as well be shattered to pieces. Were you offering to fix it? Uh, I'm afraid that kind of job is beyond my abilities. Oh, well, that's okay. What did you do with the frame, then? Why don't you just go past him that you didn't have the painting with you? I would have, but he saw me sneaking around earlier. He saw I'd snuck past him. I stopped and asked me questions. Why? You sure are a sneaky fellow, aren't you? Oh, oh yes. I have to be very sneaky to pull this off. <laughs> I suppose you were sneaky enough to sneak into the crime scene. No? Okay. Why didn't you, why didn't you, uh, I don't know, right outside instead? Well, I wanted to go back to that painting later, right? Makes sense for me to stay inside the building. So I ran up, the way, ran up into the waiting room upstairs. Better than standing around that corridor with the painting missing. Not only that, but the security footage would have seen him leave and come back later. It is going to be Lawrence, because... Lawrence claimed to have been uh, in the waiting room. I would have looked quite suspicious, you know what I mean, defense? Ah, oh, yes. I'll read this again. Leave and come back later. Indeed. I think that I did hear someone running in the corridor when we found the body. That was you, was it? Oh, simply that loud. Uh, oops. Well, at least you didn't look outside to see me like that. Let's leave this testimony to you, Sent. There's a contradiction here, but I don't have the evidence to point it out. Hurt your memories. Only then can the truth come to light. I'll try. Why are we doing this again? Better just accept the not guilty verdict and left the rest of the work to the police. The same police that concluded that Richard was the killer. Fine, ignore me. I'm not even sure that there's something wrong with this testimony. Honestly, so am I. We gotta present Charlie here, don't we? Objection! Yes, we do. Here we go. Is he okay? I... I don't think so. Ah, oh, we step inside and literally the first thing we see is... Storm! Richard! What happened in here? Mr. Lawrence! Is that you running in the hall just now? Ah, yeah. What are you looking at? What are you looking at me like that for, Mr. Lawrence? Go on, say what you're thinking. I don't mind. Mr. Sherwin ran up the stairs. He testified that he saw nobody. Me and Richard. No one else. I, I, I'm not lying this time. I swear. I'm not accusing you of lying, witness. That said, you should have run into my mentor, Charlie Lawrence, as well. Why didn't that happen? Uh oh. Uh. Hey now, what are we suddenly talking about me for? I don't got nothing to do with this case, see? Objection. Hmm. Quite the contrary, Mr. Lawrence. You were one of the three who discovered the crime scene. Now your testimony has proven to not line up with the witnesses. Is it true that you came down the stairs at around the very time frame? Is that what you told us, Mr. Lawrence? And you believe this bloke, Storm? That boy could the boy could have just missed me. That's what that's what happened. Why don't we just wrap this trial up now when Mr. Lawrence, stop acting suspicious. What do you mean suspicious, Stormy my boy? 
starting to sound like the public. Oh, I see. My own students getting in on Donnie's wild ride. Mr. Donovan, what's going on? My lord, the prosecution depends a 20 minute recess. I'd like to summon Mr. Charlie Lawrence to the stand to explain this contradiction. Objection. What are you waiting for, Storm? Vince has raised an objection. I... Ah, shoot. So I really have lost you. What a pity. Sheesh, you need to jump to reach the defense, but not for your old teacher. Ah, not to worry. I'll clear up your doubts in about two minutes, give or take. See you after the recess. Storm. Uh-oh. Uh, right. Court is hereby adjourned for a 20-minute recess. Oh, boy. Things are getting serious now. I knew I didn't like where this trial was going. I couldn't have expected this. Police accused him yet, but my mentor to be placed under suspicion like this. His courtroom tactics may have been questionable. I've never thought him capable of murder. <laughs> into Donnie's word. Nothing confirmed yet. Just have to hope that... What are you still doing here? Huh? Eh? Go out to recess, didn't you hear? I don't want to go out there. I don't want to see Mr. Lawrence like this. What are you doing here? Yeah, I figured I should come and thank you for the defense. I mean, you did do this pro bono. I guess so. You're welcome, by the way. Oh, you're not done yet. Still gotta catch the culprit. Can I really do that, though? Of course. It'll be as easy as catching Mendax all those years ago. It's only six months ago. I'm missing the fact that this is my mentor we're dealing with. Yeah, but see? You've already accepted that Mr. Lawrence is the culprit. That's the hard part out of the way, right? You're right. But still, what do we even have on him? We may not have much, but at least we have one thing that can help us. Oh, what one thing? Briefcase contradiction, of course. George didn't actually see Mr. Power put that suitcase down, you know? Wait, you mean... That was... Ooh, that was Charlie entering. So that scene, too. He didn't put the briefcase... And he didn't put the case down. He held it in his right hand and opened the door with his left. In fact, it looked like his hand was fine the whole time. Are you telling me this now? You don't really expect me to mention every minute detail right away. I'm still not sure how important that is, but it's something, right? Yeah. I should keep a note of that. I like that effect. Put the person's face on the testimony page. That's neat. I like it. We need more of that in Phoenix Ride Games. Remember, our culprit didn't just kill a man. It set me up for it. Let's get back at him. You and me. That's right. Sorry, Mr. Lawrence, but I can't let you get away with that. If you really are the killer, we'll expose you. Me and him. We them boys. Gotta say, this court, the court sure looks funny from this angle, eh? I imagine so. State your name, occupation. Patient. Charlie Norman Lawrence, sir. Latin, Latin nigger magister. Hope you got that all down. You know what you're here for, Mr. Lawrence, so start talking. You told the police that you came down to the crime scene by the stairs. Mr. Sherman says otherwise. Why is that? What's all that suspicion for? Didn't we just blast away his credibility as a witness a few minutes ago? Oh, uh, sorry, that was all storm. Well, well done on that, my boy. Mr. Lawrence, please, just answer him. <sighs> Made things really awkward, Donnie. Really awkward. But alright, this ain't a big deal. I'll tell you all about what really happened. Discovering the crime scene. Me and the boys had been summoned to scout in Europe as chief of police. I drove down to the yard by car, I scheduled, and immediately went to his office. Then we're passing through the reception, and I saw that Sherman boy run up them, run up them stairs. I went to the office, Thor and Richie were already there. And the 
Victor was already dead. So, you see? I just came in through the reception area and up the stairs. That's why George didn't see me. You're just flat out lying. Do you honestly think you can, you can alleviate our suspicions with an explanation like that? Nope. Might as well try though, right? Maybe you'd have been better off not trying at all. Send. Got it. Why did you storm being ordered around by him like a dog? What'll I do with ya? Oh boy. Time was that? Come on, Storm, don't you know when wait, when the meeting was scheduled? Oh wait, you turned up late, didn't you? That explains that. Hey, you were late too. Right, I should have been about 10 10 a.m. Sue me. Tell us what happened at Tell us what happened at 1010 10, then. Alright, let's just press everything. You know, Mr. Power approached you over this in the first place. By well, the way I remember it, he came into the office yesterday morning with him following behind. Hey, he just came up to me on the street while I was on my way home from the office. He told me about how he wanted to meet me in his office with you two, with you boys. That's all he said. Sound like he told you but he told me, though. After that, you brought, him to, you brought him to us. I just passed on the message, but actually, I barely understood him the first time. I figured you'd lot have a better time interpreting his constant mumbling than old me, right? I don't think we did. <laughs> so you were invited to its office this morning. I presume you turned up. I drove down to the yard by car, scheduled, and immediately went to his office. Oh. Oh, wait, we already saw that one. Did he see you? I know, Stormy. I don't know, Stormy. Did he say he saw me? He did not. In fact, he explicitly said he did not see you. And you trust him after all those lies, because... Because he's my witness, and I'll stand by him to the bitter end. Cheeky man. Sure, all right. Let's assume he's telling the truth. Now, to confirm, you did go directly to the office from the reception area, right? How else could I have gotten there? Secret passage? Eh, ah, ah. that mystery novel fellow would, would like a word with you. But no, I went for that reception area at the office like anyone else. I'd ask the receptionist to confirm, but oh, look. Useless man was asleep. The careless man in charge of the way. The desk has been taken care of. No need to worry about him. Ugh, I guess it's another step towards cleaning the corruption out of that police department. Anyway, I believe we're done here. You'd really not have seen you if you came by that way. Of course not. Like, look, I get the door kind of big, right? As long as Georgie turned that corner and went up the stairs, no looking back. And why on earth would he see me? Here's a point, Mr. Send. Mr. Sherman sounded like he wouldn't have had looked back unless he was called out to... To... No, I did not call out to him. He definitely didn't expect to take the stand today. Why do you say that? Don't you see it? He's clearly lying through his teeth. Makes the contradiction all the more easy to spot. Yeah, I know what you mean. I still don't, I still don't want to imagine Mr. Lawrence is the killer. If he's lying about this, then, well, I'm sorry, Mr. Lawrence. Objection! Security footage? God damn it. We're lying, Mr. Lawrence. You couldn't have gone to the office from the entrance, because if you did, you should have been caught by the security camera. Aye, that's true. Security footage shows you only entered the building hours before then. <laughs> Silly storm, that camera just covers the actual entrance. Maybe I was just sitting around in the reception area. 
Who's to say I wasn't? Objection. It's a lie, too. You were not waiting around in the reception area, where you would have been seen by this person. Uh, Kingsley. Gotta be Kingsley. Shortly, shortly before Mr. Power arrived, Richard said he went into the reception area. Not only that, but I myself had to go through there when I eventually arrived. Yet neither of us saw you there. I guess you weren't actually there. Well, congratulations, you proved it. I just appeared out of thin air. Can we end this down, my lord? This is clearly a farce. Objection. Not so fast, witness. Just because Mr. Sent has cut off the reception area, it's not necessarily me. You had no way to get into the office. Is that so? Let's hear it then, Mr. Sent. He said it, not me. There really have been a way for Mr. Lawrence to appear in the office. Without going through the stairs reception. Richard, when you put it like that, there might actually be a way. Really? Mr. Lawrence. When Richard and I entered the office, you were not at the reception. That's where you really must have been. You had to have been... False. We've given you 40 minutes by now. Hurry up and make your point. Yeah. Take a look at the, that map. There's a reception. Boss. Okay, that's not happening. Oh shit, he was in the office. Huh. What? Don't tell me you're actually considering teleportation now. No, Mr. Lord, there's no such magic here. Considering you could have come from neither the stairs nor the reception, it's really only one way you could have appeared in Power's office as you did. You were already in the office when you went inside. Uh, okay, I'll admit, you kind of surprised me with that one. But seriously? Just inside the office? Come on now. Don't you think there's just a few too many problems with that? No, actually, it's the only thing that makes any degree of sense. No, it's not. Think about it for a second, will you? I pointed out earlier that the door to the office was locked. Richard said that much himself. Furthermore, the only time the door was unlocked, the victim went inside just after ten. I'm sure we're all clear that nobody else went in there until Stormy showed up, right? That's... true. Yeah, bet it is. But if it's Storm there, was gonna try and come with an ex gonna try and come with an explanation. I'm sorry, Mr. Lords, but I know there must have been a way for you to get into that room. In fact, it would have been quite easy. Hmm. Very well. I would hear you out. I want to see evidence backing up whatever you suggest. Sure, I think you can do that. How did Mr. Lawrence get into the victim's office unseen? Ah. This guy's the victim. I think of only one opportunity anyone could have gotten into that office. That is when Richard saw the victim himself go in. Sorry if you missed this, but I'm not the victim. As lively as ever, you see. Ah, but what if that victim was actually you in disguise? case, entering the office would be simple. That, a disguise? You can't possibly prove that. Is that a challenge? Because I think you can prove that the victim was an imposter quite definitively. And get on with it. What proves the victim Mr. Kingsley saw was an imposter? The briefcase? Uh, 
got your evidence right here, Mr. Lawrence. Yep, it's the briefcase. All right, this case is getting spicy. I like it. When we return, we'll definitely see the end of this case, one way or another.